license agreement, and royalty. The British rock band and pop artists, The Beatles, top the Billboard charts more times than any other performing act and have sold the most albums in history. Critics call them the most successful band in 20th century pop music. And to this day, fans still purchase their albums. A huge fan of the Beatles, Steve Jobs said in an interview that his business model was the Beatles. But even he couldn't avoid a lawsuit against the Beatles whom he loved so dearly. The Beatles established a media company called Apple Corps in 1968. They registered an image of an apple as the company's trademark. When Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak formed Apple Computer, it was several years later in 1976. The Beatles filed a lawsuit against Apple Computer four times over 25 years for trademark infringement and breach of contract. Finally, in 2007, it was reported that the two companies entered into a confidential settlement. In relation to this settlement, there was speculation that Apple Computer paid the Beatles $500 million to purchase their trademark. In return, Apple Computer licensed back the trademark to the Beatles. As such, many businesses end up negotiating and signing license agreements to settle infringement lawsuits. Upon establishing the license agreement, the licensor receives a royalty. It is periodically paid, either annually or quarterly, through the contract period. Qualcomm, one of the world's largest semiconductor companies, developed and owns the CDMA technology, code division multiple access, that it used in mobile phones. With the technology in hand, Qualcomm jumped into the mobile phone industry, but faced financial difficulties due to a lack of sufficient capital. To solve their problems, Qualcomm began entering into license agreements for their CDMA technology with companies like Motorola and Nokia. With proactive license strategies, the profit structure at Qualcomm greatly improved. Royalty fees became a significant component of its profits. According to Qualcomm's financial data, total revenue for 2013 was US $24.866 billion. Of this amount, the revenue attributable to licensing was US $7.87 billion, or in other words, a whopping 30.5% of revenue. Meanwhile, depending on the circumstances of the transaction, there are many different ways to structure and calculate royalty payments. For instance, a common way is to calculate a royalty based on a percentage of sales of the devices sold that contain the licensed technology. The payment is normally made at an agreed time interval, for instance, once a year. Liquid metal is a super strong and light alloy that was originally developed by a research team at the California Institute of Technology. It can replace steel or other metal materials in products such as golf clubs, watches, or any other type of product that requires metal material for its manufacture. A company, Liquid Metal Technologies Inc., was established and obtained the rights to this technology. Apple Inc. actively sought to license this technology from Liquid Metal Technologies Inc. But the technology had not yet been fully developed for Apple's intended use, which was consumer electronics. Much additional research and development were needed at the time to commercialize the technology in the field of consumer electronics. And it was by no means guaranteed that the technology could be commercialized. Therefore, in structuring the royalty, rather than basing the royalty calculation on percentage of sales or number of devices made, the parties agreed that Apple would pay a total of $20 million in royalty fees in two $10 million installments, and a license agreement was signed. The first $10 million was paid upon signing, 
while it was agreed that the remaining $10 million would be paid when the transfer of the technology to Apple was completed. Intellectual property, though invisible, is the most important asset of a business. Intellectual property accounts for more than 80% of a business assets. A license agreement is a strategy that allows a business to maintain a stable profit structure and exercise its intellectual property rights. Also, it can be the foundation on which new profit opportunities are created.